Hello everyone, this is Tenrail. Welcome back to another episode of Exploratory Excavation Captive Minecraft 2. As you can see, I am standing in a puddle. I realized that I was going to be blocking off water sources down in the aqueducts. And I didn't want to eliminate enough to make an infinite source, so I made a couple of those. And you can see, I have a fishing pole. I have been trying to get some extra achievements because I haven't been able to unlock achievements or get any of the monuments. And uh, I was going for the ones that were definitely best done off camera. I did get some fish and a saddle and a tripwire hook, but what I really wanted was some leather as well. But we can go get the cooked fish one. I've been fairly tempted to take the sword to this problem causing moose room. Um, but I might not even get leather from that, so it could be a total waste. I have some clay I was going to deposit down here, take a chest with me. I'll bring my fish with me. I'm not sure what I would use a tripwire hook for, if anything. But, I was going to also clean out the aqueducts a little, because I hadn't explored as much as I think that I should have for each of those levels, because I had found a lot of chests. The other thing that I wanted to show you was this. Uh, let me show you. I did get on a rail, and it probably only took about eight minutes. Um, was, I was going to show it on camera when I, I got to about... I got towards the end, but... It was a little dull. The spider noises that you can hear were driving me crazy, and I, I definitely passed it on accident. But I also brought some mushroom stew, and had, I've been distributing it between the three different levels. I made uh, some iron things, and I was going to leave them some here. Uh, I was going to take some with me. I also am going to make some stone variants, just because I don't feel the need to burn through all of my iron. It's actually starting to look a little slim. Well, maybe slim is not the word, but if I had to make an anvil or something like that that would take a lot of iron, then I would actually run out quite fast. But I have a saddle so I can ride a pig if I can find a pig. And lots of fish. So I'll use one of these coal to cook fish. And I, I have more, but I actually only really want one fish. Achievement get delicious fish. Now I can finally get to these cobwebs that have been out of my reach for so long. Maybe I will share them for some purpose later. But I'm going to leave my fish here because I would prefer to just keep using the mushroom stew while possible. I'll use these for torches. And I don't even want to carry around a wooden sword. That's just silly. And slabs. Slabs have not offered the level of protection that I would like to have when I'm running around. It seems like... I guess you can still get targeted through them, so... Especially the skeletons might just shoot you and be able to hit you through the slabs regardless. Or maybe that was just a misperception on my part, but it seemed like that was possibly happening when things were getting bad. 
down uh, in the aqueducts. Is there anything new that I can access? It doesn't look like it. But I was digging out the aqueducts just a little to level out. You can see I made another infinite spring over there on my staircase. And I came across this nasty, nasty thing. Which I, I feel like this place is probably loaded with uh, spawners. But what I wanted to do is, since there are so many chests that I had been seeing literally all over the place, I wanted to go around the perimeter of the aqueduct and see if there were... more chests or something else that I could see. The problem is that I don't really want to open it up a whole lot because I don't... I don't want to light the whole thing up. And I'm making it darker on accident. And it's hard to see through this water, but I have seen soul sand as well as chests in the water. Ah, see, there's an example. And the chests, that's an example of a chest that I can't get to because there's a block above it, so the chest will not be able to open. So I will have to try to remember to come back here at some point. And I think I will also explore... those uh, trenches. Although I'm not sure if there would be anything worth looking at. little bit of lag there for some reason. And I'm just making a lot of dark areas. The gaps between the areas are it always makes me think there might be a cave or something. Although that has not been the case yet. And I haven't seen anything worthwhile down any of those gaps. I don't want to destroy my staircase. I have this center carved out. So I think that level is essentially explored. Um, the next level, I... And I already have skeletons shooting at me that I can't even see. It's probably from that death trap where I was assaulted yesterday. I'm going to dig my way back around here. Oh. So it looks like there is an opening cut out down here that goes outside of the world border. Ooh, sugar cane. Closer. And more zombies over there. This looks a lot closer than the sugar cane that is available on the surface. I can see more zombies clipping through from down there as well. So there must be a lot of spawners for zombies on this. Oh no, and silverfish? I thought I had to break blocks to get those.
This is looking fairly hostile. At least they are not skeletons. Let me get some torches. So this is not a level that had, um, this is actually one of the floor levels where I'm seeing this strange opening. But I think that there must be a large number of spawners buried. Oh, wow. Probably down there. Although they could be in the walls up here, causing them to spawn down there where there were, where there's open space. There's one right there. I don't remember going over there for a torch to be there. But let me... There was a chest over here that I have not been to yet. Uh... I think I heard a chicken. There's a chicken jockey. I... I would like a chicken. I'd also like to know what is hurting me. Oh, hunger. Chickens would be nice. Although, one isn't really enough. I'm gonna heal up a little before I jump back down there. Oh, is that a spawner that I've seen before? The same one right there? That I see the sparkles for? Yeah, I think that's the same one. So, I really need... Is there another tunnel through here that they're coming from? I'm not sure if they're climbing up there or falling into this small space. Looks like they're climbing. But that is a lot of zombies. I think there must be more than one spawner. But I want the chest, because it could have something good in it. There's a villager zombie. Oh no! Oh, there's a whole trench down there. Problem solved. And there's a chicken. Can I safely get this chicken anywhere? Probably not. I 
That looks like soul sand. Oh no. <laughs> How many more silverfish are left? It's a trap. Not meant to get that chest. Oh, yeah, so at the end of the episode I dug around just a little. And I found a uh, spawner down here that I thought was really interesting. It's a uh, slime spawner. Although I have not seen any slimes, I imagine it's because of the zombies. And if I light up this area enough to prevent the zombie spawns, it may be a source of uh, slimes. I don't know what I would use those for. But the chest has dirt. We have dirt. Um, I don't have anything to grow in said dirt. Let's see. If I can lighten up this area. I don't need two torches here. And I still hear more silverfish. That's un unpleasant. And uh, I also... This huge area back here for all of those skeletons. I can actually get out there now that I've unlocked a couple achievements. But I think that I will do that in the next episode. Uh, we'll go for our retribution. For now, I want to explore just a little. See what is ever downward. That silverfish is... I'm worried I will open up a hole, and he'll knock me in, and I will fall to my death. Because that's how luck is. More iron is always a very good thing. As I've started to use up what I have, and coal is also good. I don't know why I dug that other block out. Skeletons appear to be killing themselves. An emerald. That's an interesting block to find. I think that I may need to mine it with a uh, iron pick. But I'd be worried about it falling into... I guess that torch doesn't help at all. A very large opening. I will get this. And that looks... I see a whole bunch of mobs down there. Creepers, skeletons, more emeralds. That is something that will be very dangerous to get to, and I think I I would need to pillar down in some sort of safe way that would need more sand than I currently have. So maybe before the next episode, I actually will explore this area a little more. I know that there's a death trap of skeletons over that way. 
But there's also a chest I can get to. So they're spawning in the aqueducts as well, which makes sense. It's an open space down there. And that may be bad once I start rounding this corner. Okay, so they're actually blocked in. That works out for me. More gold, arrows. So I'm still waiting to find a chest that has some dye material in it. Or something that will be useful for the monuments. How many skeletons are over here? I mean, there's light in that area. So I'm not sure how they're spawning or how, why there are so many of them, I guess. That was a poor choice, I guess. I also wonder if that gotta move forward. Never give up, never surrender. That's where they're coming from. There's a dark area over here. Also, what is up with this waterfall? I don't know. But we will conquer these skeletons and see if there's something precious in this corner. A hole to fall in. And more skeletons. So we will just block that off because we can't get to all of it. And I wanted to see what's in the water. No, 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 no. The water is pushing me out too. Oh, uh, definitely putting a stop to that water. That skeleton really wants to ruin my day. But this is fairly safe. The skeletons appear to be getting angry at each other now. And I think that we've been pretty successful. We got a whole bunch of loot. We found some dirt and more iron. And... I guess I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. <laughs>